Hello guys, welcome back to another video, and today I will be showing you how to back up all your files on your computer to Google Drive automatically. So all you have to do is go to this website, I'll put this in the link in the description. So just agree and download it, save, and then you should be able to open it up, click yes. So this is the way it works is really similar on Mac and Windows, and the download is just a tiny bit different, but you should be able to get through it with no problem. Okay, so now that it's done, you should be able to search for it in your sidebar, or in your launch pad on Mac. Okay, so it should show up in this corner down here get started or it'll show up on your menu bar at the top if you're on Mac I'm gonna blur this out a little bit but I'm just gonna be entering my email and password so it's recommended to use an account that has unlimited storage I just got a notification for the confirmation and the reason why you want something with limited storage is so that you don't run out of space because most accounts only have 15 gigabytes but if you use like a school account or a business email then it will be able to save everything okay so after you go here you can choose your folders and i don't really have that many so i'm just going to choose my programming projects oh so this this is already in desktop so it didn't let me add it but yeah. So it chooses folders for you or automatically and you can either uh, take them out or add them in. Choose more folders like, uh, like pictures. I don't really have any. Uh, but yeah, for the pictures and videos you can choose original or high quality. And then if you click next, uh, it should be... And this is to sync your drive files to your computer but I don't want to do that. So let me just start. So it's a bit of a process for upload everything. And it should take a little bit to upload everything, especially if large files. Okay. And it's preparing to sync. I'm going to go into my drive on my email and then you should see this little section on the side called computers just click that and then it should show up right here I already have a bunch of these laptops already connected but if you go here to my laptop or whatever you named it then it should be backing up everything so if I check up on it again over here it's preparing 5,000 files uh, it should be somewhere in a couple, it will be a couple thousand because it's the first time I'm doing this for this computer, so it's going to be really late. It will take a little bit, so I recommend just leaving your computer on for a while and let it uh, just go through all your files. But yeah. So there's another thing you can do, like uh, during the setup process, it mentioned uh, doing the whole backing your Google Drive to your computer and I'll show you how to do it on the Mac. So I'll switch computers and I'll meet you in a couple seconds. Okay, so you probably recognize the screen. It's the uh, same style as the Windows version. Um, but this time I'm going to show you how to sync everything from your Google Drive to your hard drive. So I have a 4 terabyte hard drive. It has all my files. And I also have this one right here. It's my Google Drive backup. So this folder has everything I have from the Google Drive and it syncs it to here. So it's really simple. You just, during the setup process, you just click sync my drive to this computer and you can either do everything in your drive or specific folders. Uh, but since I don't really care which ones go in, I'm just going to do everything. 
So if after you click OK, it's gonna periodically just upload everything from your Google Drive to the folder you selected or your computer. And I have my MacBook on at all times. It's not that recommended, but that way I could keep this as like my server in sort of a way. So all of my Google Drive gets saved to this folder and everything else here gets saved to my Google Drive. So I have two areas where I can access all my files. So this was all that I want to talk about with this uh, backup and sync software. You can add new accounts and uh, since my, my school account is unlimited in storage, I just use that for all my files and backing up everything. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. Bye.